Yeah, hello everybody, it's Geekopolis here. So let's have a discussion about Captain Marvel, shall we? Now, I don't have too much to say about this movie that I would be... that would be construed as positive, but I do have a lot of kind of midline uh, comments about this movie. Now, first and foremost, I am not exactly thrilled to go see this movie. First of all, it is way too close to Avengers Endgame. Avengers Endgame is literally the culmination of everything that has happened in the MCU thus far and will propel all that comes after into whatever it may be. Now, <sighs> Captain Marvel just doesn't live up to that amount of hype, and especially given how close it is to Endgame, it's like, why should I even go waste my money seeing this movie when I could just save my money and go see Endgame? Because it's a much more anticipated movie. So, that being said, what do I like about this movie? What do I dislike? And such and such, based off the trailers and promotional material. Well... I don't have a problem with the concept, or nor the character, I just have a problem with the way that the marketing is, and the actor playing <clears throat> Captain Marvel, uh, Brie Larson. Getting a real lot of, uh, feminist SJW vibes, and it's, it's not something you really want in your movie, because I cannot think of a single time where more of this behavior, this more emphasis on diversity and really making it a, a point that, oh, it's a woman or it's a whatever character has done well when it's in your face. However, Black Panther, a, a lot of um, that movie rode on, oh, it's, it's the first, you know, mainly black cast of a movie, or, you know, so, superhero movie. So, that did help them. However, it wasn't in your face. It wasn't constant like, oh, look at me, look at me, I'm, I'm a black man in the movie. Or this one's like, oh, look, I'm a woman, and that's the main point we're trying to get across. I'm a woman and a hero. When Black Panther was just, I'm a hero. And I'm black. You see? The identity of him never really played a role in... The, the story, where it feels like, I don't know if it will, but from the trailers and the way they're promoting this, her being a female is something that's important to the story. And that's, I don't like that. that, that it seems like you're really trying to push this. Where, with Black Panther, it was just a movie. Not to mention, the reason it probably did so well is because, I mean, it's, it's coming off of, um, I think, it was, was it Civil War was the, was the big movie right before it? So, it had a lot of hype going for it. There's been a lot of movies beforehand, and that's what this movie has going for it. But the way they handled it versus the way that Captain Marvel is handling it is very different, and I think it's going to be to their detriment, not to mention they didn't have an Avengers movie right around uh, the corner a month away, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure it was, uh, I think it was like three, three or four months before, or two or three months, something like that. It was, it was at least two months before the other movie. This is only a month. It's not enough time to get, you know, some uh, suspense back. So, I don't think this movie will do all that great. But, from what I can see from the trailers, it looks like an okay movie. Her acting seems a little stiff. But, I mean... I'll have to see the movie for myself to really judge that, or I might just wait. Because, to me, it doesn't seem like it's that important of a movie. It seems like just one of those movies where um, you can kind of skip it. Because there's a lot of movies in the, in the MCU that you can kind of skip and still get an idea of what's going on. Um, the Ant-Man movies, for example. Um, I mean, I, I, I don't get me wrong, I, I like Ant-Man, but a lot of his movies you can skip and you can still get the, the idea of what's going on. I feel like that's going to be the same thing with her. 
uh, with Captain Marvel. It's it's going to be one of those movies where it's not super important to the story. But that being said, I will probably eventually see it if I don't see it in theaters. I might just save my money to go see um, Avengers in the next month. So, or the month after, I should say. But other than that, there's not too much more I have to say. I'm not, again, super thrilled about this movie. I'm not hyped or anything like that. I'm just kind of, meh. It, it really hasn't done anything for me. I mean, yeah, her powers look cool. I'll admit that. But to me, it just looks like an on-screen version of a Super Saiyan. Like, okay. But... I, I hope that the movie is good, and that all these promotional, look, she's a woman, look, she's a woman, are just kind of, oh, God, I hope that they're not taken really into account, and it's focused on the character in the movie, because we know how it turns out when you focus on the identity of characters over their actual character development. <clears throat> Ray. Uh, <clears throat> fuck it. Star Wars. Sorry, I had something in my throat. Alright, uh, tell me if you guys are excited for this movie, what you're excited for, um, if I missed anything that's important, let me know. Anyways, have a nice day everybody, remember to like, comment, and subscribe, Gigapolis, out.